Hello and welcome to an episode that deals with film language and grammar. I'm Suman Bajaj Kalra and I've been a media professional working in television and films for over 30 years. I'm fascinated by the audiovisual language of films and the magic it can weave on the minds of the audience. Today we are going to touch upon the following. Meaning and evolution of the film language and its relation to the traditional art forms how its various elements contribute to the dramatic narrative of a film, how film has its own film language and grammar and how it abides by the rules of this grammar to make the filmic communication effective, dramatic and unambiguous. Why we need to understand these rules so as to understand films better? Film is perhaps the youngest and most powerful communication media of the 20th century. It had no precedent to follow and no foundation to build upon. Yet its hold over the minds of the people is immense, ever growing and unmatched by any other medium. It attempts to replicate real life. For impact and credibility, it uses all kinds of creativity and imagination at its command. The need to create novelty and variety makes heavy demands on the directors and writers. They constantly search for new ways to use cinematic expression to engage the minds of the audience. Film is considered the mother of all arts and a gift of the modern age to society. It is a product of industrialization, technology and contemporary sensibilities applied to the rich traditional art forms of any society. A powerful audiovisual medium, it borrows from all the audio spatial art forms like architecture, painting, sculpture, murals, literature, theatre, dance, folk and classical music. But after borrowing from the traditional arts, the film medium evolved its own audiovisual language, powerful and poignant enough to capture the imagination of the vast viewership across the world. The evolution began at the end of the 19th century from a very crude stage. Having begun as an industrial invention that could capture still images, it graduated to moving images and subsequently added sound to those images, lending it realism or lifelike quality. Its journey to the kind of excellence we see in the films today has been very inventful. Once having learned the technique of presenting lifelike images on screen, the next search for the right kind of content was fulfilled by the traditional art forms that had already covered this journey. The content for these art forms emerged from the society and culture. Films too turned towards a social fabric to find the stories. In that sense, films have been the mirror of our society or any society for that matter. To put it very simplistically for the benefit of easy comprehension, we could say, from painting films learned the art of use of space, composition and colors. From literature, films learned the art of telling stories, setting, characterization and the beauty of the language. From theater, films borrowed the art and craft of acting and voice modulation. From architecture and interior designing, films learned the art direction relevant to the period of the story and background of the characters. Indian folk and classical music infused life and melody into films and helped to enhance the dramatic impact of the film's narrative. Sculpture helped to create the illusion of depth or third dimension and the mural art the use of large spaces to create the illusion of depth and vastness with aesthetics. At a very basic level, film language is very similar to written language. The smallest unit of communication is word, followed by sentences formed by a group of words and then paragraphs created by a number of sentences put together logically. Similarly, 
film language is broken into the smallest unit of a shot. A number of shots joined in a logical pattern form a scene. A number of scenes put together make a sequence. A number of sequences put together make a film, a complete story. This is how stories are constructed in a film. We must remember that film is not real. It is a myth, a constructed image and a make-believe world crafted with care and precision to look like real. Those who see it must believe in it and must immerse in the experiences of its characters with a sense of identification. If it fails to do so, the audience rejects it and it is not a successful film. In order to achieve this effect, filmmakers all over the world experimented with the film language to refine it to the level of fine arts. It took over a hundred years to do so and the process continues even today. Modern technology has thrown up tremendous possibilities The concepts of time and space are crucial to films and separate the film craft from all the other art forms like theatre, literature, audio narratives, etc. The filmmakers are faced with these two very big challenges as well as boons, time and space. Within these two parameters lies much of the film craft. Films strive to appear lifelike but they are not because lives, events and histories do not happen in less than three hours. The films create a mythical time to recreate them as if the entire life is truly represented. The audience is also made to forget the fact that they are looking at the selective and abridged version of the life or story. The filmmaker adopts a process of elimination to weed out portions that are not crucial to the narrative. All redundant, dull and unimportant portions are dropped and the ones that carry the story and characterization forward are nurtured with all the artistic excellence. The director has to decide which parts of the story are crucial and lend themselves to dramatic treatment and allow for a smooth narrative. Biographies, films based on lives of eminent personalities, historicals, mythologies and so on fall in this category. This requires very skillful construction of the story and masterly editing. There are a set of symbols evolved over the years which are interpreted as time-lapse, flashback or flash-forward. A good example is the famous Gurudat film Kagas Ke Phool. It starts with the scene of a forlorn old man visiting a film studio and shifts to the youth of the same man with the help of a sound bridge that is typical sounds of a busy film studio. Flash forwards are often used to represent events expected, projected or imagined to occur in the future. In Romeo and Juliet, both the main characters state early on that they would rather defy their families and be in love than live apart.
Time lapse is a technique in cinematography where the film frames are captured at a much lower rate than that which will be used to play the sequence back. When replayed at normal speed, time appears to be moving faster and thus lapsing. For example, to show a sun setting or rising, the image of the sun is captured frame by frame at different stages of rising or setting. When it is played back at normal speed, it appears to rise or set in quick motion within seconds. Similarly, at times the films portray a highly dramatic and impactful event which actually takes only seconds or minutes to take place. But it is depicted in a film over three or less hours. Again, the skill lies in the audience not getting a feel of a stretch of time hanging loose on them. The film has to be engaging and appear close to reality and convincing. All events take place in a specified space or location. The look and characteristics of that space lend authenticity to the film. The space or locales for any story could be several, from interiors of a home to streets and localities to cities and even countries. Invariably, it is not possible to use the real and very large spaces due to unavailability of authentic properties and constraints of budget and time. Secondly, the depiction of very large spaces on the limited dimensions of the screen can make the characters appear very small and inconsequential. The minute details also get lost. Hence, films create a mythical space that can be made to appear very large or very small without actually being so. It has as much to do with the dimension, depths and distances as it has to do with authenticity. This is done with the help of photography, using special lenses, lighting, angles and sets. Places are made to look smaller or bigger as per the requirement of the scene or story. To quote a very simple example, forts and palaces in the films are not as spacious and large as they are made to look. The war scenes appear to be set in gigantic locations with huge battalion, but in actuality it is not so. Special camera techniques, lenses and clever sets are deployed to create semblance of a large space. Similarly, the effect of a constricted or small space is created with the use of lenses, lighting and camera angles. These are mere illusions. Over a period, a highly evolved and original cinematic language has emerged perfected by the practitioners of the art. It still continues to evolve and throw a challenge at the creative minds engaged in this art. Thanks to the creative endeavors of the stalwarts, genres in cinema have been created by infusing innovation and experimentation into the cinematic language. The films have to serve up emotions and drama to the viewers in a manner that transports them from their own world to the make-believe world that they see on the screen. It is no wonder then that the film language is highly creative, abstract, vast and variable. The way it is put together to create a desired effect depends on the vision and style of the director. Let's look at the basics or elements of the film language. The smallest unit of film language is an unbroken or uninterrupted image within the four walls of the frame on the screen. It may last from a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the nature of shot and the action and movement contained in it. A shot may also be like a still with no movement and action. A common variety of shots is close-ups, mid-shot, mid-long shot, long shot, extreme long shot, extreme close-up, over-the-shoulder shot and so on.
A scene is a group of shots joined together in a predetermined and logical order to convey a segment of a story or actions. The shots within a scene must follow a certain order to maintain continuity of story, action and movement. A scene may be of a few seconds to a few minutes duration. Every change of time or place indicates a new scene. A sequence consists of a number of scenes strung together due to their logical connection and continuity of action. A sequence normally contains scenes of similar characteristics, continuous action or mood. A sequence presents a slice of a story. It is a narrative that needs to be converted to a film by infusion of all the elements of cinematic language. It consists of the journey of the central character towards achieving his or her goal and the events that unfold in the course of the journey. The story is woven around dramatic events involving a milieu of characters representing the good, the bad and the catalyst. A story consists of a major plot and subplots and plot points which create different sequences, scenes and turning points in the story to give it an interesting dramatic graph. There is a major event that weaves a story and there are minor events that help to create the drama in the story. A story consists of the protagonist trying to achieve or accomplish something. This forms the main plot. The protagonist comes across various hurdles in the process. There are characters that work to destroy his efforts. Their actions make subplots in the film. A screenplay is the template or a blueprint of the film on paper. It is the most important first step of converting a story to a film. At this stage, the story goes through a visual transition as depicted in the screenplay. Visualization is the predominant factor of a screenplay. The story is broken down to sequences and further broken down to the scenes. The screenplay sets the mood, pace and character of the film. It works as a guide for actors, cinematographer, art director, music composer and the rest of the production crew. A story may rely merely on beautiful language printed on paper, leaving the rest of the reader's ability to convert it into imagery. But the film is a series of definitive images coupled with the sounds, leaving very little to the imagination of the viewers. The director has to deal with the elements of time at the screenplay stage by a process of elimination while retaining the flow and the essence of the story. It helps the editor to knit the film together artistically. Essentially, stories are told through captured images played out on screen. A frame acts as a window through which supposed real life is portrayed. These images attempt to depict a totality of story by presenting characters in action and in a setting that helps the viewer to get under the skin of the story. Cinematography has a very important role in the language of cinema. Just as the pen is crucial to writing a story with its beautiful dialogues and descriptions of setting, camera or cinematography is crucial to converting that story to screen effectively. It is a cinematographer who visualizes the entire story in his mind with the help of the director and creates images which bring the story to life on screen. Ever since films began to speak, sound has emerged as one of the most important components of film language. Sound in films is of three kinds. Human voice, that is dialogues, laughter, scream, etc. Music, it could be background or songs. Ambience, that is atmospheric sound at the location, like the sound of water near the sea or river, machine sounds near a factory, dog barking, sound of rain or thunder and so on.
Traditionally, India has been a nation of music lovers, be it for classical or popular genre of music. All the festivals and major milestones of life are marked by music. Films carried this tradition forward and made music very integral to storytelling. In fact, now music is one of the biggest attractions of a film. Music adds an element of entertainment to the film. Its most important role is that of highlighting a scene or enhancing the emotional impact of a scene. Music can be in the background enhancing the dramatic appeal of a scene, helping to give information about the setting or scene or simply infusing a new mood from the point of view of another character. Music is also used in the form of songs which add another entertaining and melodious element to the film. Music can be used for various purposes. It is used to take the story forward, to further define the feeling of the character, to help break the monotony or boredom, to add life and rhythm to the narrative of the film. Music forms an important ingredient of Indian cinema. Ambient sounds at times help to impart information that is not contained in the visual on the screen. For instance, if it is a shot of a man coming out of his house onto the street and we can hear factory sound, we at once understand that the character we are looking at lives near an industrial area and is probably a factory worker or someone in his family is a factory worker. Within a given narrative, it is possible to play the character in different shades and scales through the use of dialogues, body language and expressions. A story consists of a variety of characters engaged in an interplay helping the story to progress. Characters can be defined as protagonist or central or lead character, antagonist, opponent of the protagonist or villain of Hindi films, supporting characters who form the family and social circle of the core characters that help create the dramatic framework of the story. It is the most important element of film next to the story. It is a highly artistic element given to an individualistic approach to interpreting the character. Different actors are prone to interpreting a character in different ways depending on their style of acting and approach to the characterization. A very stark example is the portrayal of famous central character Dev Das in the films of the same name depicted by three actors. There is very little similarity between the three styles of acting, despite the fact that the story and the character remain unchanged. There are different schools of acting ranging from very realistic to highly dramatic, theatrical and over the top. Some actors like to play on facial expressions and emotions while others are very physical and use a lot of movement in expressing. There are also method actors who follow a different genre altogether. Broadly speaking, setting consists of the social milieu of the story. For example, it can be of a rural or urban area, upper class or lower class, 
educated or uneducated, rich or poor, modern or traditional and so on. These factors help to create the sets that appear realistic and true to the characters involved. Setting when used imaginatively virtually becomes a character in the film as it conveys a lot about the people, their tastes, moods, backgrounds in the story. Many a times a good setting conveys the mood so effectively that it makes the use of words quite redundant. Dialogues help to define the story, add dramatic element to the film, reveal characters, define relationships with other characters and also explain the minds of characters in depth. Dialogues take the story forward and establish interaction between characters. The language of dialogues is always in keeping with the identity of the character. If the dialogues are well written, they become a big draw in the film and are remembered by audiences for a long time. Moving pictures in a film help replicate lifelike realism and credibility. Actions and movements add energy and pace to the film and make it more interesting to watch. Stillness makes for very passive and dull viewing. The degree of action or movement in a film depends on who the characters are and what their setting, social milieu, profession and lifestyle and events of the story are. A certain degree of movement and action is essential in films to make them appear close to reality. Movement and action can be that of characters, automation, nature or animals. Movement can also be created by camera by taking a moving shot while the subject is still or movement can be enhanced by the camera movement to add speed and energy. For instance, in the case of a character searching for something in a room, the camera shoots a scene by constantly moving between the shot of active and anxious character and point of view shots of the objects by constantly panning, tilting, tracking or zooming in the room. This can create an effect of anxiety, panic, suspense, chaos or humor depending on the treatment and the requirement of the scene. That's all for today. We will continue this lesson on film language and grammar in the next episode. Take care and goodbye.